So here we have the Toyota Igo on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car. Let's start off inside the boot first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space. We've also got that 50-50 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the uh, rev counter we have the speedometer in the middle. In the middle of that, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 52,817. We then have the fuel gauge for the car as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls on the left-hand side and over on the right-hand side, the phone controls. We have cruise control underneath that. And then over in the center, you'll find the main stereo itself. So you can turn the audio on from here and of course, adjust the volume. But we're on the audio menu. You can see FM, AM and DAB radio, uh, USB input just there, Bluetooth audio so you can stream your music wirelessly and auxiliary input as well. We go back to the home screen. That is where you pair your phone. You can also connect up certain Toyota friendly apps and project them up onto the screen uh, via that button just there as well. Now, on top of all of that, this car has got a full color reversing camera as well. Working our way down, we have the air conditioning. You can adjust the fan speed, the temperature on this outer dial here, the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. You can bring in fresh air from outside of the car, recirculate the air that's in it. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again, and we have a heated rear screen there as well. Directly below that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, your auxiliary and USB inputs, and then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.